All right, Meg, wait here. I'll be right back. Hi there, Britney Spears. You mind if I go in? Oh, uh, not at all, Miss Spears. Oh, call me Peter. Hey there, fellas. Britney? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, you know, I was just in the neighborhood, and, uh, I'm gonna steal one of your beers. And, uh, figured I'd stop by and say hi. You mind if I have a seat? Ah, uh, I am out of shape. Say, uh, Justin, I got a favor to ask you. What is it? I got a hole in my car's muffler, and I need something to plug it with. Can I have some of your hair? Um, I guess so. Oh, great. Thanks. All right, hold still now. Ah! Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Hey, come here. Give me a kiss. Here's your martini, ma'am. Thanks. Hey, it's gone. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Here's another one. What the hell is going on here? Hi, can I get some pretzels or something? I, I just, I gotta, I gotta drive. <laughs> Whoa, hey, did you bring enough breasts for the rest of the class? <laughs> hey, Hector, how long have we known each other? Since first grade. Yeah, yeah. You remember that time you called me Chris Gristle? I think so. Well, burn for it! <laughs> it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a lower middle class Irish family. Coming up next, can bees think? A new study confirms that no, they cannot. Citizens of Quahog, we have a problem. You're damn right we do. Peter Griffin stole my hair. Settle down, Jeffrey. Justin. Mike. Clearly, the Griffin family is out of control, but not to fear. I've tangled with super beings before, and they can be stopped. You can't stop us, Mayor West. We are all powerful. Clearly, you've let yourselves become drunk with power. Silence! <laughs> we demand obedience! Or else! Is that all you can do? Ow! That kind of hurt. God, is that bleeding? No, no, I guess it's all right. Ouch, though. Anyone who opposes our demands will be destroyed. Our first demand, you will erect a statue in the town square. This statue will depict Blair Warner admitting to Mrs. Garrett that the poem she submitted for her creative writing class was actually plagiarized from a work by Emily Dickinson. We have spoken! Ah! That's it. We have to fight fire with fire. If nuclear refuse gave them superpowers, it could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Oh, no, that's not what Mrs. Garrett's bosom looked like. It looked more like this. Notice the sunspots at the top of the right can. Excuse me, I have a message from the Quahog Hospital. Oh, well, I just feel awful about this, Mayor West. Yeah, me too. Stewie, fluff his pillows. <laughs> I'll heat up his soup. And I'll go to China to see if there's a cure. Nope. Not now. The doctor says I'm going to make a full recovery. The important thing is you learned your lesson. I can't believe we let those superpowers go to our heads. I feel like such a bastard. Me too. Well, for now, we are going to use our powers to help you get better. Thank you. But as long as I have Mrs. Garrett's giant rack by my bedside, I'll be all right. Girls, girls, girls! <laughs> <laughs>